Hello friends, welcome to BEC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. If you have any, please comment in the section or else you can be able to join us in the Instagram page which is in our description as well as the about of the YouTube channel. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of entomology. I am going to cover the digestive system in insects. So it used to compile the structure of alimentary canal as well as the gut physiology. So for the first one, digestive system. So the alimentary canal of the insect is said to be the longest one in the insect body as well as the muscular and tubular structures extending from mouth to anus. It's the only canal which used to extends up from its mouth to anus. So it is said to be differentiated into three regions which is known as the foregut, midgut as well as the hindgut. So let's think it as a the insect digestive system. So they developmentally use it to classify it as the first one is which is the foregut which is also known as tomeodium as well as the ectodermal in nature and the second one which is the I am going to show you is the hindgut which is known as proctodium which is also an ectodermal in nature and the third one which is the midgut which is also known as mes mesentron which is also endodermal in nature. So while seeing in this picture the first one which is a uh, which uses to connect the mouth to the second gut which is the foregut the first one and the midgut which uses to combine the foregut as well as the hindgut is known as the midgut and the third one as well as the last one which uses to connect from the midgut to the anus which is known as the hindgut so while seeing the in the foregut they use it to comprise of the salivary glands cat sibarium salivarum and pharynx esophagus crop, uh, pro-ventricles uh, and cardiac valve. So these are the parts which are used to be compiled in the foregut. So the pro as well as the cardiac valve is said to be the final uh, components which is said to be present in the foregut and in the mid-cut they use it to contain the gastric CK as well as the ventricles uh, and the pyro pyloric valve which is said to be the final organ which is found in the mid-cut and in and in hindgut they use it to have the malfigent tubules, ileum, colon, rectum as well as the anus. So these are the components which are present in the hindgut. So I have given the cross-sectional image of the alimentary canal which is present in the insect body which uses to co comes from its pharynx to its anus which is the lost part. So first we are, now we are going to see it uh, simply each and every part. The first one is a foregut which is also known as the ectodermal in origin. So the anterior investigation of ectoderm forms the foregut which is also known as tomadium and the intercuticular lining is said to be present in the foregut. They use it to form a terminal mouth which leads to the pre-oral cavity of the insect body. So they use it to push the foot, foot from its mouth parts to its pre-oral cavity. So the pre-oral cavity is said to be present in the foregut is said to be two. So the pre-oral cavities are cybarium as well as the salivarium. The cybarium is said to be present in between the epipharynx as well as the hypopharynx and the salivarium is said to be present in between the hypopharynx as well as the salivary duct. So where the pre-oral cavities are said to be present. Behind the mouth there is a musculated organ which is known as the pharynx. So it used it to give, oh, sorry, which used it to give you a movement of food so where it uses to push the food from its is mouth through the esophagus of the alimentary canal and the pharynx which is said to be act as a sucking pump in sap feeders so after that the esophagus which is a narrow tube which uses to connect the food into the crop so crop is said to be known as the dilated distal part of esophagus which act as a food reservoir in bees especially they used to be modified as the honey stomach where the nectar conversation process is said to be occur in the honey bees mm. after that we are going to see is proventriculus which is also known as gizzard which is the posterior part of the foregut which is also said to be a musculated part it is said to be found in solid feeders and absent in fluid feeders or which is also known as the sap feeders after that the foot flow from foregut to midgut is said to be regulated through the cardiac and which is also known as esophagus wall which is said to be at the final part of the foregut and the initial cuticle which is uh, we have also seen it as gizzard is which is variously modified in different insects so uh, which use it to have a teeth like structures in cockroach which use it to grind and strain the food and in honeybees they use it to ha have like plate like structures which is used to separate pollen as well as the nectar 
in the foot and in flea which is used to act like a spine like structure which is used to break the blood corpuscles so after the forecut we are going to see about the midcut so it is said to be known as endodermal enlargement which is also known as the meso mesentron or ventricles so there is no contain a particular cuticle linings in the midcut as like in the forecut so the midcut is said to be made up of three types of epithelial cells they are known as the secretory one goblet one as well as the regenerative regenerative cells which use it to replaces the secretory cells after due to aging after that the important structures which are present in the midcut is said to be known as the petrotrich membrane as well as the gastric ck pyloric valve and the filter chamber these are the important structures which is said to be present in the midcut so the first one the um, peritropic membrane which is said to have a internal lining of midcut so they use it to be secreted from the anterior and exterior layer of midcut epithelial cells so they are mainly present in the solid fibers as well as they are absent in the sapidus their layer is said to be semi permeable in nature and they use it to digest juices as well as this digestion product are said to be done so it lubricates and facilitate food movement and also envelop the food and protect the midcut of epithelial cells against the harder food particles so i have given the peritropic membrane of the insect in this picture so you can able to see that circles it is known as the peritropic membrane after that we are going to see about the gastric ck so they use it to have a finger like outgrowth which is found in the anterior end of the midcut so where you can able to see, known as the gastric ck the structure used to increase the functional area of the midcut and shelter the symbiotic bacteria in some insects for its health in nature and the pyloric valve which is said to be known as the uh, proteial valve which also used as the opening hindgut through the pyloric valve which used to regulate the food flow in the alimentary canal in certain immature stages of insect midcut is not said to be connected to hindgut till pupation uh, for example in honeybee grub the midcut is not said to be connected in the hindgut up to its pupation period after that the fourth one which is a filter chamber it is said to be a complex organ which is used to have two end of ventricles and the beginning of hindgut are said to be enclosed in a stack like structure so they are used to have a short circuit excess of water which is found in liquid food exactly in the homeopathic insect and they used to avoid the dilution of digested foods and concentrated foods for efficient digestion it's where the process is used to occur and also helps in the osmo regulation by preventing dilution of hemolymphs so they use it to have a open circulatory system so the osmo regulation process uh, prevents the dilution of the blood cells so it's how the filter chamber is said to be done i have given the cross sectional view of the filter chamber in cicadas after that the third one which is a hindgut which is in ectodermal is all in origin and there is it to be produced by the posterior invocation of ectoderm so the internal cuticular lining is said to be present which is permeable to salts ions and amino acid and water so the main function of the uh, hindgut in the insect is said to be the absorption of water and salts and other useful membrane from fecal as well as urine matters so the hindgut is said to be differentiated into three regions which is known as ileum column and rectum in the larva of scarabids and termites ileum is a pouch like structure uh, which is used for housing symbiosis as well as the fermentation chamber which is present in the larva of scarabids and termites and a rectum contains a rectal pad which is a pap like structure helps in the dehydration of feces as well as it opens through the anus so now seeing the functions of digestive system the digestive system is said to be responsible for the breakdown of large non absorbable organic compounds as well as the absorbing the small absorbable size and molecules and defecate the non digestible materials and the structure varies with the diet as well as the type of metamorphosis taken by the insect during the environmental changes so now we have seen about the alimentary channel now we are going to see about the gut physiology which is said to be known as the primary function of the gut is said to digest the ingested food as well as absorb the metabolites so the digestion process is said to be enhanced with the help of enzymes which is produced by the digestive gland as well as the microbe housed in the specialized cells of the insect body mm. and the digestive glands are the salivary gland which in cockroaches they are said to be known as 
pair of labial glands which act as salivary gland so where the salivary duct opens into the salivarum and in caterpillars the mandibular glands are modified to secrete saliva where the salivary glands are modified for the silk production in caterpillars so after that the functions of saliva it is said to be moisten as well as dissolve the food it is used to lubricate the mouth parts it is used to add flavor to the gustatory receptors so they can able to digest the food by the production of enzymes in cockroaches the saliva contains the amylase which is used for the digestion of starch in their food uh, after that in honey bee saliva which it contains invertase which is used for the sucrose digestion as well as in jesset saliva they use it to contain lipids and proteins which is used for the lipids and protein digestion and jesset lip saliva also contain toxins which produce <laughs> tissue necrosis as well as the phytotoxinma in the plant pods in plant bug saliva which is used to contain pectinase which helps in the stylet penetration as well as the extra intestinal digestion used to takes place in the plant bug saliva and in mosquitoes the saliva contain anticoagulant substance which prevents the blood clotting which used to prevent the blood clotting uh, when it absorbs the blood from the human body or uh, as well as the animals in gall midges they used to saliva contain endoastic acid which is also known as iaa and in disease transmitting vector like saliva paves a way for the entry of pathogens in the insect body which used to transmit those diseases to other uh, living organisms so i have given the structure of the saliva glands which used to contain the reservoir as well as the gland and the duct of reservoir as well as the duct of gland and the epiphonal salivary duct where is also used to contain as well as attached to the hypopharynx of the mouth pot after that hepatic ck and mid gut epithelial cells so it it, has, it secretes the most of the digestive juices as well as the there is two types of cells which are enzyme involved in the enzyme secretion they are colocorine as well as the merocorine so the epithelial cells which use it discrete in the disintegrates in the process of enzyme secretion are said to be known as the holocorine and the merocorine which the enzyme secretion occurs without the cell breakdown is known as the merocorine these are the two types of cells you must need to remember so after that the digestive enzymes so based on the insert groups they are said to be have different enzymes and for the production as well as that which is mainly based on the substrate where they use it to absorb it for the living so i have given in this one so after that the microbes in digestion so in the insect body where there is fewer cells which is used for the home housing symbiotic microorganisms which is named as the mycetocytes so the mycetocytes aggregate to form an organ called as mycetome so the flagellate in example in flagellated protozoa it used to produce cellulase which is used for cellulose digestion in termites as well as in wood cockroaches and in bacteria it used to helps in the wax digestion in wax moth so and in bed bug and cockroaches which used to obtain vitamins and amino acid from their microbes um, after that the microbes were transmitted between individuals through food exchange example mouth to mouth feeding which is known as the trophallic access as well as through egg which is also known as the transovial transmission so it's where the transmission of microbes used to occur in in plants bugs and land grub they used to form a partial digestion in the host body prior to food ingestion which is known as the extra intestinal digestion and in most of the insect ingestion which is mainly used to occur in the mid gut so after that the absorption process used to takes place so the in an insect they used to absorb the digestive product to the cells of mid gut so the anterior region of mid gut is said to be the major region of absorption so at that place where the water as well as inorganic ions and dissolved solvents are said to be mainly absorbed by the walls of the anterior region including the gastric ck by diffusion process so the diffusion of simple sugars like glucose and fructose is enhanced by rapid conversion of these sugars into trihalose in the hemolymph which is said to be known as the process so facilitated diffusion in this one so after that the absorption of water and ions which is said to be mainly occurred through rectum in cockroach lipid absorption is said to be mainly done by the crop and in termites and scabies which is also known as the white grubs where the absorption occurred through ileum and in solid feeders 
and uh, where the reabsorption of water from the fecal matter as well as the rectum and faces this is expelled as the pellets in solid feeders where the absorption process takes place in sap feeders the fe feces is like li liquid like and uh, in the liquid phase of hemopteran bugs they use it to with uh, have with the uh, soluble sugars and uh, amino acid is said to be known as the honeydew which used to attract ants for feeding so the absorption of digested material so i have given the pictorial representation where the movement of water is said to be in blue color as well as the yellow color is said to be the for the movement of water as well as the inorganic ions sugars and amino acids so it's how the process takes place so i have given the lecture notes in description if you have any doubt please comment in this section or I'll join us with the instagram and ask your doubts so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsa agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video thank you i'll catch up in next videos